Houston Sabercats, they started this round 11 points. They are just four back of the L.A. Giltinis, fresh off that shutout victory. Lineups, the Giltinis brought to us today by Body Science up front. Who's key for you? Uh, you got Joe Tafate up front. You know, one of the candidates for World Rugby Player of the Year. I think it was in 2019. He's massive, but also Honko Hermosize, number eight. They call him the Terminator. He's going to have a big game today. The speed guys, I know you're a little biased. That's where you <laughs> played, but all kidding aside, we talked about Meeks back there. Anybody else that you feel is going to be a key for them? Well, it looks like Ryberg there at the 14 on the wing. He had two tries against New York, and this guy's coming on strong here the second half of the season. He's going to have a big, big match out of the wing. For the Houston Sabercats, a revamped team. They won just two matches all year, but they've improved. Up front, who do you like to keep your eyes on in this one? I got to go with my man Danny Barrett right there wearing the number six jersey. The guy's an absolute weapon on attack, but really he's put his mark on the counter-rucking, get over the ball and jackling. He's got to go ahead and get in there. They're making a mess at the breakdown. Max, speed guys. Yeah, you got Christian Dyer in the outside center position, 15s and 7s, USA team player. But also you got to look at Matai Layuda at the wing, another USA 7s player. And the reserves, and there was a late change to this. It is now Bonte in the line. And really try and rough LA up with their physicality. Last time their set piece dominance came through and the breakdown turnovers and inability for LA to recycle possession. They'll be looking to get stuck. Colin, as we look back from the first half. Yeah, Houston started off the scoring early. Nice job by Danny Barry getting the ball. He's that close. That's exactly what they need to go to win this match. And seeing their five points up. It's a good start by Houston. Yep. Good tackle there from Houston. Goddard finds it, gets it back again, gets it into the hands there of Thomas. And Thomas can't come up with it, and Houston has it, but I believe there was a penalty assessed to them. And that's what we're talking about. The favor today, Houston obviously without Nicholas Silvera, they're starting loose head and have a bit more inexperience out there and LA are trying to get the better of it here. They certainly are, thanks Alex. Is 10 in the bin and LA. Wow. We have a penalty try that's gonna be under the post for the LA Giltinis, too many penalties. I mean, just incredible stuff. The power of the four pack, a great engage, and just it looks like. Get them on ice skates here. Any work? Set! Stay there, Nine. They'll reverse it now, work this side. Fake there, nifty little flip on there to Corey Thomas. Got Art. Charging, heavy charge ahead there. Good forward momentum by the Giltinis. Had to get pushed back for a while. Ryberg had a couple of tries last week, the last two in their blowout win. No shutout in franchise history against Rugby New York. He is a horse. They push on up that far side again. Mishandle it here. Here's the word from Rogan, another penalty on Houston. They carry on, move forward inside of the five to the line, and they take it across. <laughs> what an effort, charging his way in and taking it home to give the Giltinis a 12-7 lead. A quick tap after the penalty. Houston gets dinged after a great defensive stand and just a quick tap by the big man, number eight. All skills, all players, takes it off the deck. And this guy they call the Terminator puts his head down. He just gets over the line. Massive body. Big win I've referenced against New York for L.A. Conversion attempt here. And that one is up and good. Getting it back. Meeks, offload, trying to get through there. Another offload, charging ahead. Giltini's penetrating deep inside of Houston territory once again. And 
Houston. Unable to, it looks, get this thing in there. A stand by the Giltinis there. Which means keep on on the job, and if they get those kicks back, they clean up the penalties. They're in a good shape to go ahead and battle back on the scoreline. Houston gets the rock here to begin the second half. Three again. Inside of the five meter. Smith getting it back. A couple of meters away. Zace with a carry. Out wide. Coming over to make the tackle was Trainer. At least slowing him off. Ryberg helping out. Let it come. Let it come. Yeah, he's pinned in there. Let it come. What a possession here by Houston. Can they pay it off? In tight toward the try line, about a meter shy. Smith gets it free into the middle. Trying to go between the post. It's free again. Smith finds it, charging toward the line. Wow, what a defensive effort from the Giltinis. Houston just knocking on the door. Big time. Smith's got it again, out wide. They try it, they get it. Oh, what a finish there. Lesage got it and got it, got it down. And they come away with it. It's dire. Really just okay. took it through inch by inch, it, meter by Sunday meter, all the way to the outside, and finally gets the ball in the hands of the backs. And Dyer, nice just incredible presence out there. The 13 jersey gets hit, but has the momentum. Just gritty, gritty stuff from Houston. David Kutzer on, and Kutzer going to miss this. And it'll be a two point lead for LA. You already see them paying dividends on that first kickoff over there. Yeah, I've played against Tom Mitchell quite a bit on the USA 7th Circuit. This guy, in terms of kickoff in 7th, and works through because they've got a bunch of ball carriers as well. But, you know, they're likely going ahead and putting them in the corner and getting something like that. Mahoney up to get it, but it came out of his hands there and came free to Goddard. Now the Giltinis. And the Giltinis. Set! Scrum half, Goddard in the back instead. First man to it, takes it instead. It's not wow. him, and look at this effort. Guess who? <laughs> Terminator again. Take a look here, Dominant Scrum, and here we go. Hermesize battling, and just, you go high on him, you don't get the tree chunks, he's gonna keep his pistons rolling, mm -hmm. and just getting meter. And there's the yellow for collapsing, says Luke Rogan. And time is the enemy right now of the team in black and gold. Toe meets leather, kick on the way. Kick is up, and the kick is good. The flags point towards the sky. It's time. Sent into touch, and that will do it. And Burton comes on, puts that through. They get it back, and they play it out into touch. And L.A., they get the season split in the regular season with Houston.